Welcome back, I'm Herman Nerman, and today we're going to be adding some animations to our mining game. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a quick look at the code. Here's the basic code so far, and we've got store function here, mine function, menu function. It's Today we're going to really advance upon it. We're mainly going to advance upon this mining function here. We're going to add some graphics to that. So we'll just take a look at how far we've gotten so far. Got a basic mining system. This is what we're going to improve today. We're going to have like a little guy chipping some stuff away. And then, so we got mine, a town function where you can actually buy and sell stuff. We got a main menu function, which brings you back to the main menu. Today, we're going to add some graphics into the mining function. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go in, not here, right here. All right, so you go C out, and then we'll start with an empty line so that there's space between the mining stuff. And then at the end of that, we'll go end line. We can adjust this as we wish. So now we... We just keep doing more C out. The next thing that we'll do is we'll have, let's say, um, ones here at the top to show that it's the top of the cave. Maybe we'll have the top of the pickaxe here. Maybe we should have actually used maybe zeros for that. Yeah, we're actually going to replace all those ones with zeros just so that it's not confusing. C++ recognizes this little tidbit there as a command. So we can't really do that. So we're just going to be working with numbers today. Really simple stuff. So then we'll just go do do. We'll just keep advancing upon this pickaxe here. And we want to make that three up there. And then in the middle here, we'll have a capital H to show this the handle. All right. So this isn't going to look perfect, but without using a graphics library, I think this isn't, this is going to turn out pretty good. Yeah. So C out again, and then we're going to do less zeros and then we'll do eight all right now we're gonna have our little buddy's head here we'll give him some hair you cannot use that that slash because that's the one recognized as a command so we'll say that he kind of has back hair like that we'll keep advancing upon the cave all right so now we'll i think we'll give him a uh, grubby here and we'll give him two eyeballs we'll use capital a's for his arm all right and we gotta get we gotta give our little guy some sort of expression so we'll give him one of those and then this will be the back of his head and now his arm is going to attach to his shoulder which is going to be all right uh, we'll have this as his neck i know that this isn't super complex stuff but it does give you a respect factor. Oh, well, once we get the initial guy copied down here, then the rest will be pretty easy because then we're just advancing upon what we already have. All right, so we'll say that that ends his arm movement. We'll say that his shoulder is over here. Um, finish that line. So I'm going to admit it does take a bit of typing, but if you're anything like me, You'll think that's worth it. That doesn't look too shabby to me. No. End line. See out more zeros. And then we'll start working on his leg. Alright, so now for his shoes. Alright, now for the final line. Alright, so now we've got an interesting character here. I know he doesn't look the prettiest, but he works. So now the next thing that we're going to want to do is copy all of that and put it in the next one. And then we'll have his pickaxe about to hit the dirt and then we'll go with underscores for the handle now that we've got our pickaxe we just gotta add some handses all right so now for the front we're going to have his pickaxe into the dirt we'll give him two a's and we'll call that good so we'll compile and run that all right we'll go with the medium we'll go to the mine Okay, so it works. Now, the next thing that we want to do is when you find stuff, we actually want to have a resource. So for gold, we're going to have a gold nugget. All right, so we've got our gold bar there. Get that out of there. And we'll just add to some sleep. We're going to want to copy the sleep from over there into here so that you can see what you found for a few seconds. And then we're just going to copy this here and pop it over here in the silver function. And then we're going to change the name of gold to silver. Now we'll compile and run this. You found silver. Oh, forgot that there. And we also might want to put a CLS here. So we'll go sys 
dim and then CLS. This way it'll clear the screen of everything else and then it'll look a little better. Now the other thing that I wanted to clean up was the main function. We gotta start with system CLS because when you go back to the menu, it's still on the last screen. So now we'll compile and run this again and we'll go into our mine. It's actually kind of nice. Definitely got to put sleep on nothing. Otherwise, it just this goes by so fast that you don't even notice it. Oh, that's why. It's only sleep 100. That's why it goes so fast. Uh, it's supposed to be sleep 1000, not 100. All right, now we'll run this. All right, so we've got a working game now. We've got some basic animations here. Hopefully, we'll get into using an actual graphics library, but for now... This works pretty nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Herman Herman out.